Season 3 Episode 4 Bazinga No, this Big Bang reference is not in the wrong spot. It is Nandor's reaction to playing a Big Bang Theory slot machine. The furthest out of their element the vampires have been during the show's run, this episode features the vampires, and Guillermo, taking a trip to Atlantic City. Remember the neighbor Shawnee? He has invited Laszlo and the vampires to celebrate the renewal of vows with he and his wife and a whole group of other friends. Interestingly, the opening credits roll with a different video in the background, that of the vampires and the party bus driving. After an Ocean's Eleven-like toast and a return to their hotel rooms, Nandor realizes that housekeeping swept up their ancestral ashes. These are used to sprinkle under the beds, so they won't lose their vampiric powers. In an outrageous but I suppose necessary move, Guillermo scours England, Greece, and Iran to get each vampire's appropriate soil. The vampires slowly begin losing their powers. Shawnee has gambled away a large amount of money and confessed he is a recovering addict. He also loaned Laszlo money earlier in the trip, well a few hours earlier, and is already calling back on that loan. Per usual, Guillermo arrives just in time with the ancestral soil. The vampires then bet on and rig, a boxing match to give Sean the loan and gambling money back. The episode ends with Sean, in the same breath, saying he is thankful and a new man who will never gamble again and, as the vampires walk away you can hear Sean yell in the background, put it all on red. And gambling all the money again. Season 3 Episode 5 It is time for the vampires to perform their executive duties as leaders of the Vampiric Council. However, there is only one throne, which means only one person can sit in it. Nandor and Nod Ja are co-leaders and cannot agree who will sit, which Guillermo uses to his advantage, to take the throne for himself. He convinces them it would make sense for him to disguise himself and sit there during the legal proceedings. Lorik the Knavish is first on the docket and is incarcerated after being convicted of quackery. He sold vampires a substance which he claimed could save them from sunlight, but those who believed him, died. Remember Derek from the Mosquitoes Vampire Hunting Club? Well he is now standing trial for a slew of offenses including scaring humans for no reason, stealing blood from donation centers, feeding on humans in public, and owning an unlicensed hellhound. Nod Ja and Nandor sentence Derek to death by sunlight in the well, but Guillermo sneaks over to him to give him a jacket to shield him. Guillermo continues to manipulate Nandor and Nod Ja, pitting them against one another. Meanwhile Sean invited Laszlo to a boys only night and Colin Robinson joins. It doesn't take long to find out that Sean invited everyone over to rope them into a pyramid scheme for buying and selling pillows, like Mike Lindell. Everyone in the room sees right through the charade and Sean storm out. He then tells Laszlo that he bought an enormous number of pillows and is being sued because he hasn't sold or paid for them. Laszlo believes that having served on the Queen's bench around 300 years ago he and Colin as paralegal can defend Sean in court. However, this proves to be a large mistake because Sean loses and the court orders that he pay $12,700 for the pillows. After the case Sean and Laszlo get drunk. Guillermo brings Laszlo and Derek to the Chamber of Judgment. Guillermo is putting up a farce that Derek broke out and convinces the court, Nod Ja and Nandor, that Derek has the right to defense counsel. He then strikes a deal with Nadia that he would be responsible for Derek and help him to become a more upstanding citizen. In order so that Laszlo can win the case, Nadia accepts the offer. In the end it turns out Aspen the Hellhound is a normal dog and Derek hypnotizes people into buying Sean's pillows. Thanks for watching. For more content, check out contentbinger.com.